Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to an episode of my time at Sandrock. Last episode we turned in the bridge and now we need to go to the Paradise Lost rune, but I first need to clear out my inventory because it is a disaster. Kind of becoming, this is actually full, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's kind of becoming a thing soon. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, we need to go do the Paradise Loss. I'm literally picking this up right where I left off. I know, horsey. Those are backwards. Oh well. Uh clothing. We need to do it. And then Hey, this is just this kind of just happened. <laughs> Uh, inventory is always a problem, isn't it? Uh, la, 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 la. Decoration, decoration, decoration. That's fine. And then once I finish this, we will go. Okay, that's better. I can go in the blue. And then actually miscellaneous, miscellaneous there. Nope. Not the good one. The bad I want. I still need to make a new pickaxe. Um, do I have everything I need? I don't think we're going to do it today, but we do need to do it. I have two. Okay, so we need to make wood here. Why am I making wood there? Oh, probably Arvio. That is my guess. Kind of forgot we had that mission. Oh, because I'm waiting for a, a diagram. That's right. Okay, we're going to go. Uh, I don't need to bring a chest with me. I don't know why I'm deciding to keep that on me. That's better. Okay, let's go. Do I want to bring a horse? Ooh. Who is he? Oh, Fenty. Howdy. I wrote a three page memo on how Peck could be a more efficient <laughs> miner. He didn't even read it. Well, what do you expect? Hmm. Coffee beans. I don't have coffee so beans. Long, well, I do. I just don't want to give it to her. Ah. They're waiting. I'm sorry, Justice, I'm sure. Hey there. Gotta get into these ruins, huh? Uh-huh. Well, shoot. I really want to let you slip on by. But, well, you remember what happened last time we bent the rules a little. I kick some butt. Now, I see where you're coming from. I can see your frustrations. The door's singular purpose is to provide passage to and from a certain locations. And when the door is blocked, the one thing it's meant to do, well, it ain't really being manifested. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I saw the door was broken. You know me. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's fixed. Good as new. <gasps> you just disrupted protocol. <laughs> What's the plan, Sheriff? <sighs> huh? What did I do wrong? Uh, I saw nothing. Oh, how about that? Mm -hmm. The door fixed itself. Wow, it's amazing how it happens. And there we go. Let's do it to it. We will have to go soon into this cave. Whoa. Um, I just need to get to the bottom. It's right over there. Uh, we're not going to get this. This is in another cave here. We're not going to get this chest right away. Uh, I mean, just, I'm just going to try to eh, either I do it now or I do it later. Okay. And then one more. Come on. These guys do respawn, so you can... You can get the power stones off them if you feel like. Um, there really isn't much over there, so we're just going to go down. Uh, 
There, we almost could just wait until the morning. It's fine. We'll essentially do this. Uh, we probably will not be able to turn. You need to go to Chi again. We won't be able to do that. Did they finally add a bottom to this? Ooh. Ooh, there's a safe. It would be cool if we could explore. Oh, no, there it goes. Never mind. Just wasn't loading in. 15 to 18. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? That is really cool. I think that was added in the last time I did it. I don't remember. Uh, we are going to hit all of these again because it is early iron. So we will do a thorough job again. Just in generally, I find generally speaking, it is always good to do that in these just because it is an early, um, the early as you can get that ore. I'm really looking forward to when the desert is open though. Just, it seems like it's always so far away. It really does. It's not though. It's means the spacing is the same. They they changed the they changed the map in here. I don't remember it being this detailed before. Like I played this a couple a couple weeks ago. That looks a little weird. Um. I played this like a couple weeks ago. I'm wondering if this was one of the updates. What's oh, that falling? Because I don't remember it being looking like this. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get this chest. The chest is up there that you're seeing. Nice. Nothing over there. I think these are like a, like a, a graveyard for robots. That's what I believe that is. Who's after me? You. Um, there it is. Gotta get every barrel. Stone. Hey. Don't remember this also being as bright in here. You could just, well, I mean, it probably was. It just something feels different about it, and I can't put my foot on it, and it is a little annoying. Guys actually make up a saying, isn't it? Put your finger on it. Ooh, that was nice. I think I did just make up a saying. Eh, it is what it is. Huh? Sometimes like your brain just goes blank. That was one of the instances that my brain just went blank. Okay, moving on. That is on the other side. There is a lot of uh, random loot in here. Like a lot of random loot. I like to make sure I like to get it all. I know, I think I almost always uh, forget one piece. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't affect anything. It's just, I like looting things. Pretty much why I play Vault Hunters, because I do like to loot things. Well, Vault Hunters was a mod pack for Minecraft, if you didn't. Um, Vault Hunters is fun, 
But sad, I mean, sadly, the thing I am most excited about anytime I play it is after you finish a vault and then you clear out your pockets. That is the joy I feel in playing the game. <laughs> it's really sad. Nothing here. I am curious how many times uh, it is going to, our um, chest thing is going to proc. I am curious. It goes through spurts, I've noticed. Rubber shells. Was it? I think so. This is a cool dungeon, though. I mean, it's just, it's very cool. Like, it has like even hangers. Like, they just went into so much detail. It's just, I just love it. Like, no one would ever notice that there wasn't a hanger or something like that. Like, no one would notice it, but it's there. I love it. Okay, we're moving along. Uh, we need to go get keys. This is kind of easy to fall off. And you kind of got to go around. So you don't really want to. This I do think is probably one of my favorite dungeons. It's up there. Um... Like, of course, the late game ones are funner. They're cool just because they're more difficult. Like, I don't know. It just, I think at the later game dungeons, you do it with other people, too. So, you know, sometimes it's just fun just to be with someone else. And sometimes it's also very annoying, but... Like, when they try to direct you, like, oh... We're, Look at all that. And it's like, yeah, I know, I, I know. Yep. <laughs> I'm curious what type of dungeons are going to be in Evershine. Do you actually follow me here, sir? Like, I think I'm more curious if. They're gonna be more Avery focused or Ragnar focused. Because I have a hard time they're gonna allow you to do it every single time with the two of them. You know? It's kinda I'm just curious who's gonna be more of that role in the game. I think that's what I'm curious. That's what I'm starting to think about. Uh are those types of things. And like where the initial alpha, like how much gameplay is, I think they said it was going to, the initial alpha gameplay was going to be, I think they said 10 hours. I thought I saw Zed wrote that. And so I'm just curious, like to see the, the breakdown of it. This is the, um, oh no, it's not. We were over there. Never mind. We have not got the chest yet. I don't think that we saw. Hey, you just keep running, sir. He is really on me. Huh. Uh, I think I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Nothing. I feel like I'm skipping an entire area, but I'm, it's just the lower area. Actually, I am skipping the entire lower area right now. We'll go back. There are a lot of chests. Um, you start putting like, make me start thinking about Avery and it just kind of goes, well, huh? What? 
Yeah, we're at the, the back half of it right now. We have to go back. Excuse you. Um, yeah, so I'm just curious. That's the thing, that, like, that's what I'm starting to think about. And I'm also curious about what Logan is going to do when he comes to Evershine. You know? We ever be able to run a dungeon with Logan? Mm -hmm. Always forget that these guys make that noise now. Like I do kind of forget that they make that like ho 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 noise. Oh, it's down there. Yeah. Oh, we need to go back down. Oh, you're not gonna let me jump over? That's fine. I normally don't have to go backwards because I remember to jump jump down. Today I did not. Um, we're gonna go further back. We're gonna go right to here. It is with, I think I have life steal on. Yeah. It's weird seeing the, the grayed out numbers for the life steal. It's essentially as I damage them, I can heal. So when it I'm not healing, I'm not stealing anything back. So it's kind of, it just feels weird seeing the grayed numbers. I normally have, oh, I always forget what it's called. There's one stat that is my favorite stat on your weapon. I can never remember. It's basically lifesteal. It's just that you, I think it's like you recover X amount of percent of your health. It's only like 3%, not a lot. But that is probably like my favorite stat. I will fully re-roll my daggers until I get it. And this is where we were supposed to jump down. Yeah, we will re-roll roll all my daggers until we get that stat. These ones, it's not worth it. It's the, the late game ones that are worth it. Well, mid to late game, probably the next set we get, I will do it. So I think it, they, it is more important it feels like that's on the other side. It's more important or you, it helps more. It's doing a weird Twitch thing. Oh, this is the dungeon that uh, I will probably have to exit the game after we're done. This one always, I think, breaks the lighting. I kind of think it does. There's a few dungeons that break the lighting. Like we will literally see rainbows after this, I think. If this is the one that does it, I think it is. It's this one and then a late game one that tend to break the lighting. We'll see. I hope they fixed it. It's annoying. I need to just exit to the menu, I think, and it fixes it itself. Uh, I came from that way. It's a little baby Indian. Look how cute. And actually it was an engine. Ha! Ah, that must be newer because I don't remember them ever showing what it was. I really don't. I think I would have noticed that. I am not the most observant people person at times. You know, something that cute I would We're going here. Mining. Hey. 
I think it would be very fun. I think like in game development, probably one of the funner jobs would be the person who like takes this environment and adds all the stuff just to make it look full. Like I would, I have no talent in drawing, but I could do that. I can place random things. I think that'd be fun just to make it look cluttered. That would be a fun job. It's kind of like a, well, in film, that would pretty much be like a set decorator. Because that's what you're essentially doing is decorating the set. Or like a props person, that's what it would kind of be. In film, the job I always wanted was continuity. Because I am the person who will watch a movie and will notice that like things move or like the clothing is cleaner. I am I am that person. Some movies they should fire their continuity person because it's so bad. Like just so bad. Well, like, isn't it what was made on? I mean, continuity is essentially, wasn't it Game of Thrones where they had a coffee cup made it into a seed or something? Like, then you should just be ashamed. I know Lord of the Rings has a decent amount of continuity problems. Like, I think there's a scene in which I think Aragorn is like, it's a fighting scene and you see he like does something with his his foot and you can see that underneath his foot he basically just has a thing on around his foot and he's actually just wearing gym shoes i do remember that being a thing how, how even old are those movies i hit the wrong button wow we got a twofer what did i want to go for next shoe oh it was social Social was the one I wanted to go um, to see people on the map. We'll do rolls. I do rolling often. Um, I think we want to get towards the second, the level two. 20% of getting extra item when salvaging. I think we're going to go for that one. Yeah, then we'll start working on the extra 10% materials. Is the plan. Okay. Moving along. Oh, really? How old is Lord of the Rings? It's like, it's a movie that like, that's like 2003. I can never think of it off the top of my head. But it's like one of those movies that it's like, when you actually think about how old, it's like, no way. No, oh, and it's like it is. It actually, it's like Harry Potter. Those movies don't seem as old as they are. Like when you really think about it. Ooh, there's the chest. He. I have not had a Harry Potter fest in a while. Ah. Uh, like a really long time. I can't remember the last time I sat down and watched one of the movies. Not even like in passing, because like sometimes like you're, you just see it and you're like, eh, hey, why not? I can't even think of that. It's at least probably been like, I would say three to four years. Probably the same role of the rings. I just, I do miss that era of film. I was just like, there was just so much good stuff that came out. Now it's like, ugh. Seems like a community of professionals. Yes. This always was like, it felt like this should have taken you to something and it, it didn't. This little parkour puzzle. It's kind of a bummer. Like it's 
You see all this like furniture piled up. It's like parkour puzzle. Nope, nothing actually. Fast. He. It took me a while to remember to come up here for whatever reason. Just like here, this feels like this should be something too, but it's not. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, it took me a while to go get that key. Oh, I didn't even know my dagger's ready. It's like all of a sudden I see these things running at me. In my head. Like, oh, I guess I should take care of that, huh? Excuse you. Okay, we'll go get our key. Boom. I mean, there's nothing sp spectacular in here. Like, I think early rowstone, maybe? Or maybe gold. Oh, the rainbow locket. This is, I, oops, I think this is like the random chest. It's just random what you get. Um, moving along. So that was added also. That. I don't remember when that was added, though. Because this area has gone through a few different... Like, the main layout always was the same. But it's just, like, the things, like, up there were a little different. And the boss changed a little bit, too. I don't remember when, though. So it's, like, one of those things that you don't do it that often. So it's, like, you don't really pay attention. It's, like, not until you get to this point in the game where it's, like, oh, it's different. It's, like... Um, like, thank you. You like was not letting me go. We'll take out this one. Yeah, this one, I remember the first time I played this. I could not for the life of me figure out what I was supposed to do. It's like, I kept just hitting this and hitting this. It's like, why? Um, can't I do anything? Oh, they added glass here now. This didn't always have glass. That's what we needed. This must be the power port she talked about. And they also got rid of all the things that drop. You just, they used to have to run around and get them all. And they got rid of that. It just now goes into your inventory. And they also cut it down a little bit. It used to be more than that, and they cut it down. Um, we can exit. Up we go. Ah, uh, Chi will probably be closed. It's fine. Um, yeah, well, that's the wrong button. 22. We can try. Horse. Yeah, you're having issues, sweetie. Oh, that was a weird hitbox there. Well, my... Oh. Well, we'll go, go around again, shall we? Let's just look at the weird hitbox. Oh, no, that wasn't there. Huh. I must just hit it at just the right angle that it hit it. We will get this really quick. If we don't, like, like I said, if we don't turn this in tonight, not a big deal. Uh, it's just... It is what it is. So we do gain two more of those, um, ah, the, what do they call those things? The sleeping chambers. There we go. I think the light did break. Maybe not. You tell most inside. 
that is where you can notice it because you see rainbows. Well, there it is. This looks to be an R47 condensed crystalline power core ultra with an iron flux capacitor. I've read about them, but to actually be holding one. That's probably the most excited you will ever hear him. Ah, yes, R47. Okay. I know, right? I was only expecting R30s down here, but to get an actual R47 Ultra. It was a prototype core that was a downsized version of the R57 core used in standalone all source AIs. All source, like I said, I think I said before, is something that ex it controlled all the robots in the Age of Corruption. Uh, there is an all source in Porsche. And you look like you have no idea what I'm talking about. Just know that I'll be throwing my previous plans into the trash and. <laughs> and they all thought I was mad coming here. You can go now. I'll get back to you. We've been dismissed. Uh, we're gonna go see what we need. Um. Scrap wise, the lights might be okay. They may be okay. I would love it if they were. Because it's really, they actually might be. I don't know. Not bad, actually. Uh, clothing. We'll put this on eventually. Uh, relic, 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 relic. Where are you? There you are. Nope, that, that absolutely not what I wanted to do. Metal, metal. Boom. Actually wasn't that bad. Why am I here? Oh, I wanted to look at what I needed. Wow. Okay, we need to go get copper. We are so bad on copper. It is like it's not even dropping copper. Huh. It's really bad. That is really bad. Yeah, we're going to go on a copper spree. Of course. Okay. Um, ooh. I'm, well, mm, mm. I'm just going to pull it. I don't care. We need two more of these. Do I want to make a pickaxe? Okay, RNG, that's an axe. RNG, be kind. Perfect or better. <laughs> it listened. RNG said, no problem, man. I got your back. Ooh, we have almost a perfect bar. I love when RNG listens like that. This is the pick we will probably have for a while. Though when I end my testing, pretty much by the end of, hmm, um, the next story. So you have, you finish the bridge. And then there's another big story when which someone comes back to town. It was at the tail end of that. They're like welcoming back to town that I, I already had moved on to Chrome. It was probably the earliest I have ever moved on to Chrome. It, it was really early. Will I do it again? Probably. Well, I mean, there's two ways of looking at it. The problem when you move to Chrome is you need agate, I believe it was, to um, refine it. So you basically were stuck with whatever quality. I don't remember what these take though. We will find out, I guess, when we do a refiner. Yeah, Cause we definitely need to work on our grinders. Aww. And we need to work on our grinder and
process, or I probably should not have done the machine I did. I thought I did a tailoring machine. We probably should have held off on that one. It was mainly because I chose a tailoring machine. Because soon we will need to build Yakmal stations and they require rough cloth and I don't want to buy it anymore. I'm just happy that the light didn't break. Oh, that's, I had more though. Okay, it's not bad. We're going to bed. Uh, clearing. Oh, there's a holiday today, or not today. Uh, I keep forgetting we need to do three, three days today. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no, the holiday, holiday will be next episode. Like, I know it's coming up. Hello. Hello. And collect water. Let's make an axe. Again, RNG. Be kind. Eh, that's fine. The pick is the one you want. The pick hammer. You absolutely want that one to be the better one. Why was Owen here? From G. Need to speak with you immediately. Come to the research center. <clears throat> okay, he's he's our associate. Um I started working on the design for my billboard to be, but as it turns out, art is hard. So I had Pablo come up with a, des a design instead. Can you pick up the diagram, then place the finished billboard over the tr at the train station with the most gracious thanks? P.S. Pablo will charge you when you pick it up. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. By the stairs. Sorry, I forgot to sign my last letter. I hope it didn't worry you. I just wanted to tell you how impressed I was by how you handled those Gieglers. Whenever you, they came up to you like, rah, 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 you're like, I'm not bothered by that. You're a good builder. And now you're an honorary member of the Civil Corps. Is that right? You'd be a good deputy. Captain did a good job in there too. But maybe you should become the new deputy. He's a good looking cat and all, but you would look better in the hat. Sorry, I kind of lied earlier in this letter. I didn't really forget to sign my first letter. I just didn't want to. Here's a picture of the sand dune. Maybe you can hang it in your in your house or something. I'm not your boss or anything, though. You can do whatever you want with it. Um. Oh, see, is that all I needed? Oh, no, I actually had more. Uh, anyway, I think you're really cool. I don't think I want to sign this letter e either, though. Well, that's okay. Well, bye. I got a secret guy who thinks you're cool. Thanks for the compliment. Are these meant to be romantic? This is weird. Uh, thanks. And letter from my oh no. Um, well, less interesting news. I don't know if you need them or anything at this point, but I checked the tracking number for your quilts and they're in Medi. Someone put them on the wrong train. Now they're being held by the Medi Customs Office. They think they're the, des a des the design resembles an image of from their ancient text or something. Now, in order to get them back, I have to prove that I am not a prophet. I just made up the design myself. Otherwise, I might have to become the next deacon. It's flattering, but I think I'd rather not. Uh, this has this is like this, the quilt thing is just the greatest. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. This has been a lot of trouble, but at this point, I'm just determined to get them back. It's the principle of it all. Hope you you're at least doing all right and be careful. Try to stay don't try to stay out of the newspaper unless it's building something. Love you lots, Ma. Research center. It was a tailoring machine. 
Okay, we need to expedite. Ah. Uh, oh, the sorter. We'll talk to Pablo. Uh, we need to expedite the next research. We have a lot of discs, so it's not that big of a deal. What do we got? What do we got? I will do these for Grace. Oops. I will do this for you. I will do this for Owen. Seven. Okay. Not worth buying anything with that. Um, do I want to go fishing first? I think I will. Oh my god, the train. Do I have enough sand rice? I need to plant some sand rice. Oh, we'll get this while we're here. Are you sure there really ain't nothing I can do to change your mind? Anything at all? Nope. Sandrock is history. I'm out. Well, that's just like good luck in safe travels. <laughs> Dang it. There goes the best onsorter this company ever had. What about me, sir? I love this. Boss, I heard there's a machine that does sorting. Maybe we could commission one from a builder to help out now that we're short-handed. Sir, what about me? <laughs> I love Pebbles just sitting there. It's so cute. Can both of you two shut up? I'm kind of emotional over here. Besides, ain't no machine that does sorting. No, I'm pretty sure she's right. Hey, builder, over here. Do you know anything about a sorting machine? I can find out. See? I knew there was such a thing as a sorting machine. You can research it with Director Chi, right? Yep. What do you say, boss? Can we make an official commission for a sorting machine? Uh, sure. I don't know, whatever. Who cares? I say we go for it. I'm not doing extra work just because <laughs> Bama thinks this place is drying up. It's our best chance to stay in business, boss. We should take it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Even if I said no, looks like it's four, uh, Three against one anyway. And one thing we don't do here at Ufala Salvage is undermine democracy. Yo, you heard the boys. One sorting machine. Hold the mustard. Okay. Fishing. I needed three, I think. I don't... Hi, Bunny just hopped over a Yakmo. That is a talented rabbit. Can I get it? Can I get it? I can. Nah, he already spawned. No biggins, please. Holy sandicudas. There we go. We're done. That was fast, actually. Like, really fast. It's nice when it when you get them um, like boom, boom, boom. Dang. Edge, do you want a cracker? Do you want a cracker? Soon. No, no. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I keep thinking that I forgot to go do his thing yesterday. His um. Experiments, but it's not that I didn't do it. It's just that I didn't. This is actually I record. This is I'm recording this like three days later. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it? Wow, time flew, man. So for me, it feels very weird. <laughs> days later. Oh my, uh, copper isn't sorting. Copper. Oh, because I did run out. Okay. Let's go, horsey. Uh, I need to start 10 of these. Oh, 
go. Birthdays, birthdays. What's today? 25th. Meerkat. We need to find the meerkat. Hmm. A third of summer. I did not know that, sir. Thank you. They already gave you a gift and everything. It's amazing. Jensen. Uh, yeah, we're going to kind of do our rounds doing commissions and questy things, and then we'll get to the research center. So I don't think we can even do anything for it today. Uh, actually, we can. Hmm. Yeah, because he gives us the diagram, I think. Ooh, that was framey. We'll go to Chi really quick. Might as well. I'm trying to get remember. I think you do get the Welcome. Diagram. I have something very exciting to show you today. Using the R47 Power Core Ultra, I was able to channel upwards of 10 gigajoules per second of energy out of condensed power stones without encountering any significant losses in efficiency. The amplitude and frequencies of vibrations at higher dual inputs seem to be minimalized by an advanced internal stabilizer in the compression chamber, averting electrothermal heat displacement. It's literally bending the law of thermodynamics. Why are we here? <laughs> I've designed a power suit running on the R47 Power Core Ultra. It will greatly enhance the speed at which we can rebuild the bridge. It's a design I came up with at Vega 5. But I never believed we'd actually find the energy output to put it into practice. My inspiration for it comes from something very obscure. Something you two never would have heard of. Isn't this one of the robots from that old world entertainment show? What was it? Gungans? Um, must be a bizarre coincidence. I've never seen anything like that. Why would I be watching some random, obscure old world entertainment show? In any case, this will be very useful. I was planning on using cranes, but with this, we can save a lot on the budget. Good job, Director. If I ever get my hands on any other R57 course, I'll be able to manifest even more superior designs. <laughs> uh, here's the diagram for it. Hmm? I mean, it looks exactly like one of the Gungam robots. And uh, look at the time. We all have a lot of work to do, so I bid you both good day. Fine. When you're done with this Gungam mobile suit, Give it to me. We should have the budget for it. I heard that. Cheap. A sorting machine. Quite doable. Bring me five data disks and you'll have what you want. Okay, I'll get started. Check your mail soon. I ain't done with you. The 11th of the spring. Uh, we're going to do this one. And... Why not? Next. Moving along. I can literally do this power suit right now. They did a, uh, um, I'm filming this two days after the Kickstarter is done for Evershine. And they did a, uh, questionnaire for things you wanted to see and like your suggestions. Some of mine were silly. Um, I should never be allowed to give opinions on, oh, there he is, I'm looking for, oh, we need to buy uh, 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 something. I'm stuck on a cactus. You know, one of my suggestions for what I want to see in Evershine is well, they're going to have a difficulty slider. Um, but that's going to affect things like food. I wanted a slider for the amount of materials needed. Because there's going to be a mission very late in the game. And there's going to... I don't remember who I need to look for. Anyway, uh, there's a mission very late in the game in this game that I'm going to 
probably go on and on and on. Actually, I'll try not to. But it needs it needs a difficulty slider, and I want one. Wow, that was a good one. Um, but yeah, that was one of my suggestions for him. Some of them were also silly. Some of them were very silly. One I still stand by. Um, who is littering my oasis? Dan B. Dan B. You should be picking this up, ma'am. Um, anyway, uh, there was more stuff. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, one of the things. So in Evershine, one of the, the goals unlocked was that NPCs uh, Day the Bright Sun. Okay, that's Thanks. spring. It was two days before. Um, so one of the things I suggested, so okay, so all the romanceables will get pajamas. That's like a, a thing. People really were, were tired of certain NPCs in this game. Like it just, it looks weird with them going to sleep with hats on. And <laughs> Uh, I'll tell when I'm done. You must be here to pick up the completed version of RVO's very modest and not at all narcissistic design for a billboard. My fee is 500 goals. Can I get a friend's discount? Huh. When you put it like that, I find it hard to refuse. Did RVO put you up to this? Or are you two really so much alike? Don't insult me, sir. Fine, fine. In any case, I'm a sucker for a pretty face and yours clears that bar by a fair margin. 250 for a friend and if i'm being honest also because i do so deplore denying the world my art thank you and make sure you color inside the lines i will try my heart um so the core romanceable npcs will be able to wear pajamas and for whatever reason this is just something that i really want and so Avery, if you've played this game, you know who Avery is. He will be a romanceable, a core romanceable and ever shine. I want him to have bunny slippers. I think that would be hysterical. It's become this thing that's like, I would love this. So yeah, I, I actually put a suggestion for that. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I still need to make more though. Um, but yeah, that was my suggestion that Avery needs to have bunny slippers. But my reasoning behind it, though, so it's like he's Mr. Serious, like stoic, like I will never smile, that type of person. That's how he seems. I don't think that's who he's going to be. But I just think there's something so funny, like he's so serious like that until you get to know him. And then like you get married and like all of a sudden he's got like these bunny slippers. I think that'd be, I think it'd be great. I think so. It brings me more joy than it probably ever should, just the thought of it. I'm one of those people who has like a concept, like I can think of a concept in my head and I will just get the biggest kicks and giggles out of that stupid concept and it will just bring me pure joy. <laughs> like, I don't know why. There might be something wrong with me, I don't know. But it does bring me pure joy thinking of stupid things like that. I still can't put this down, right? No. That is such a shame. I mean, I get it. I fully, fully get it, but it's a shame. We'll turn it in. And there's Bamna. Bamna is the name, uh, the director, uh, Sushi. I think her name's Suzy or something like that. That is what she goes by on Discord. Bamna Piggy. She's the director of the game. I think there's like two directors? Possibly three. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga Mobile suit. <laughs> While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan. And with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have water trains back in Sandrock in no time flat. Okay. That she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. 
If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? I love how she says that he just might float away. Well, <laughs> thanks again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load barren trusses you built before. There we go. I'm curious. So, okay, we had the mission earlier in which Grace wanted the uh, the bag for the, the delivering food. For a while, her and Danby, you would see them walking across here, even though there was nothing there. Like, you would see Grace walk like this and then just disappear. I They could very well be over here. I mean, sometimes you can see underneath here a dot. I don't think so. I'm wondering if they fix that. Like this entire time, she shouldn't be able to cross the bridge, but she still was somehow and it was magical. Let's go do this RVO mission, shall we? I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Am I? Well, we do need to plant this, but that, eh. Yeah, we're just waiting for mail. Okay. Oh, uh, we're going to get a horse to stay. Okay, let's do it. I did find out. Well, I'll, I'll wait till we're done. <laughs> it's perfect! Look at the majesty! I can't bear to draw my eyes away. I look so friendly and welcoming. You're all set! Amazing! My design, your handiwork, and Pablo's finishing touches. It's absolutely perfect! People are going to start calling my shop by the stairs. You know, with all the attention I'll be getting. You keep telling yourself that, okay? Like, everybody will be looking. Or staring? Ah, by the way, how much was Pablo's fee? I did find out that if you do say five or 500, he will write you a letter, I believe it is and call you how you are so dishonest or something like that. I kind of, I was so happy to do it. Let's do this one. Well done. I'd meant to remind you to haggle with him. I guess it slipped my mind, but it seems that's neither here nor there. 250, that's a great price. I'll pay you back right away. The shop owner and the workshop owner. What are you two doing here? Not thinking of traveling somewhere, are you? With so much work to be done? Pasta, hello! We were just admiring this fine billboard that our friend here made. An advertisement? Let me see. Yes, very nice. But you are aware that there is an application process for new constructions, are you not? No one is above the law, RVO. In case you forgot, any construction on public property must first go through the Commerce Guild with an application fee, following which the request will be sent to City Hall, where Heidi and myself... Right, right. Application. And the fee. About that. You would do well not to interrupt me, boy. <laughs> As I was Thanks. saying, Heidi works with me, keeping track of zoning for new constructions. But as it turns out, to my knowledge, there is no zoning conflict here. Woo! <laughs> you know, Hulcha, the way you were talking, you made it sound like... However... Huh? There is still the matter of the application fee that you so absent-mindedly circumvented. 500 goals. Otherwise, I'm afraid the city will have to take down this... very modest creation of yours. Yes, yes, of course. I would never dream of trying to wriggle out of paying for such a valid and 
clearly very necessary service. Let me just speak with my partner privately for a moment. Uh, as you may recall, I'm still a bit short. Also, I don't have 500 goals on me. But don't worry, I have a plan. Let's convince Miguel to keep the sign up and just give me a few days to come up with the money. Okay, I got your back. I part of me really wants to do this one. Well, I got your back. Nice. All right. Just follow my lead. Hmm. What's there to discuss? This isn't exactly what I'd call a complicated issue. Pasta. The thing is, for a little shop like mine, 500 goals is quite a hit. I don't even make that from a full day's work. Can we leave the sign up and I can pay the fee after a couple of days? I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You can see my shop from your church, can't you? And I mean, who knows? Maybe some tourists will see the sign and decide to hop off the train. This sign could pay for itself in a matter of days. I can be his guarantor. Hmm. I must admit, to see you young people so united, it does fill one with hope. No, I really just want to take him and throw him on these tracks, actually. I'm just doing this for points. <laughs> Fine. Really? I suppose these laws were originally written with the intention to improve commerce in Sandrock, not hinder it. You have three days. I will inform City Hall. Wonderful. Thank you, Basta. You're so forgiving, just like your religion tells you to be. I do so admire those who practice what they preach. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Ha! <laughs> that went well, I'd say. Thank you for your support. Within a few days, I'll have that silly fee paid for. Oh, and I'll pay you back as well. Whew! Finally, I love it when a plan comes together. Some of what I said is true, by the way. I do think this billboard will pay for itself in no time flat. I just love how he basically called himself a liar. That's great. All right. I'm going to speak with Jensen about when there's the most traffic so I can repair for the crowds. Thanks again. Okay. That's done. Unfortunately, there's more RVO yet. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I can make this yet. I can. Um, mainly I need the slabby jabbies. Well, we need to run marble and we actually need marble. <coughs> yeah, we need marble. Okay. Uh, what else am I, how am I doing? We will do a round of this. We need to go get tin today. We'll do that. Uh, hopefully we'll be better now. Uh, ooh, there's a sparkly over there or shiny, whatever you call that. I actually have no idea what you call that. I think it is it. I'm trying to sadly, I'm trying to put the think of in uh, in modded Minecraft. They call those shinies. Because in the, the mod uh, Quark, which is actually a very useful mod, they did put shiny animals in and they like so you can have like a green cow. Oh, no, it's a green pig, a purple cow, a golden chicken. And uh, the most annoying mob in all of Minecraft, other than phantoms, outside of phantoms, the wandering trader, uh, they have a chance of spawning like a lime green uh, llama. And this is finally, this is enough. Moving right. Um, how many do I need? That is the first order of business. It is, wow, four per? Really? Okay. Well, I can make two. We'll just, um, go out there. Sure. Yeah, okay. Um... 
these really have no use at all. I'll still keep them though. They're just gonna go in the looting. Oh, never mind. They're gonna go into miscellaneous material. Fine. Um, none of the clothes is good enough yet for me to wear. So I am getting tired of this outfit. I normally wear this outfit the shortest amount possible. So, I could switch to this for that. Shoes. There we are. A little bit better. Um. So we'll, we when start the hunts again. Uh, when we harvest those tomorrow, we will go around here. Um, we will switch it to uh, what we need for Burgess. Do I want to take, I think we're just going to take the bus down. Ooh, we gained two stamina back. Yeah, I think we're just going to go try to get as much um, copper and tin as humanly possible. We may just go to, to oh, I already have that. Like already ready to go catch. No, I don't need to. Um... I think we're just going to go to the the third floor. We do need to do the caves. Today is not the day. Uh, maybe next episode. I do want the caves because the arm stretcher is actually a decent gift for some people. So it's more for gifting purposes than pretty much anything else. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kinda only hit the ore deposits. This uh, sorting machine. No, hit the ore. This, the sorting machine is what gives you the ability eventually to have uh, contract, we will not be able to do it. So I do think when push comes to shove with the rules, that one may be one of the first to go. Or to allow myself to get it for like a month. Just to get a num the numbers higher. I hope I don't have to. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm just like, what? I'm hoping I don't have to, but if, if worse comes to, if like it's, I'm really struggling, that will probably be, because right now we are really struggling for copper. Um, That might be the first one that we kind of be like, eh, I may need to do something about it. It is mainly to see how we do once it's no longer the main ore. That really is what it depends on. Because right now, copper and bronze are the main ore. We're about to go enter the Iron Age. So, you know. Um, I don't, I did not need the clothing on me. I am going to put the locket on. I will put these earrings on and kind of it uh next i think we're gonna pull this really quick and start the slab oh, i don't really need that machine you know what we're not going to um what else do i need What 
else did I want to build? Ah, I know what it is. We need to look towards this. So we need one more bronze plate. This, well, this we can't get until we're on the other side. Um. Yeah, so we need that. This will probably be one of the first things we do. Because pretty much you want a horse of your own by the time this bridge opens. That is kind of how what you want to do. So you want to have saved enough and have expanded enough that you can get that because once that desert is open, man, it's a long way to run around. It really is. I think we're going to go to bed very early and we're trying to make tomorrow an easy, a quick day. Um, I already know there's a story thing we will probably have in the morning. I don't remember if it actually is the next day or if it's a couple other days away. This is probably going to be a very long episode. I apologize. So there I was, outnumbered, a million to one. Whoa, did you just see that? He's really close to the tracks. Yeah, no kidding. We should probably... <gasps> <gasps> Train's coming. Mint. <sighs> nice one, Builder. Uh -huh. I was uh, just about to do that. What's going on? Oh, Mint. Is, I was feeling sleepy when I got off the train last night, and... Who are you again? Oh, I'm Mint. I was sent here by the Ataran government to inspect a railway bridge. Where can I find City Hall? I'm supposed to talk with Mayor Trudy. Hold your horses, pal. You're not getting off that easy. I don't care if you're the deacon of many. Here in Sandrock, everybody subscribes to a little tenant called responsibility. What if we hadn't showed up? You'd be in the hospital right now, at best. What is Owen doing back there? Next time you feel like taking a nap, check your surroundings. Ask yourself questions like, am I near any heavy machinery? Am I in the den of monsters? Do I smell gas? This line of thinking may save your life one day, because we're not always going to be there. You got it? I love that, like, do I smell gas? Er, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Yeah, you do that. No, he's fine now. All's well that ends well, I guess. Uh, hey, Builder, me and Unsure got a patrol. Can you do me a solid and take the inspector here to City Hall? I'd feel a lot better if you went along, considering the circumstances. Thanks. Unsure, let's ride. Sorry for the trouble. Please, lead the way. Um, I gotta go home first, so that was weird. Uh, <laughs> oh, and just like bop and then a bop and then a bop some more. Is he playing with his? Oh my gosh, Howdy. I love that. Aw. I love that they added him. Um, oh, sorting machine. Oh, yeah, duh. I love that they added him playing. Yeah, this is the letter you will. It would be a, it would be a different letter, and this is for the, the two fifty, uh, and it will basically say, "I can't believe you're you would deceive you're such a dishonest person or something like that." He really calls you out, which is funny, being he pretty much is a charlatan, but he calls you out for being like so dishonest, and it's I find it funny. So thanks again for the billboard. Here's the money I owe you. You're always welcome by the stairs. I'll even give you a discount. I can't shop there. Sorry. That's good that you're making friends, but make sure you're making friends who are a, a good influence. Friends don't put friends in dangerous situations. And the cat, is it a nice cat? Some cats will come here, come in meowing at you in the middle of the night. They know they're too cute for you to be mad at them. Just make sure you're not friends with a snotty cat like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, that makes my day. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're about to get the thing I always get stuck in. 
I wonder if they put that there so you can't. I think they did. So there's a tent that ends up here on the Day of Memories. And I have gotten myself stuck in that tent. Very, it, it, I should know better by now. Oh, it's that day. Oh, God. I should know better by now to run right out. But I get stuck in the tent. I need to reset. I love the little rocket ship that went behind his head. <laughs> well, hello. It seems the two of y'all are familiar. Indubitably. This is Sleepy at, uh, Mint. We grew up together. Mint, you're here on behalf of the Ataran government, I presume? Yeah, that's right. I've been working as an engineer around the free cities. They've sent me here to make sure your bridge is good to go. Nice to meet you, Mayor Trudy. I'm Mint. Pleased to make your acquaintance as well, Mr. Mint. I'm afraid Mayor Trudy is out at the moment. I'm Minister Matilda. I'll be taking over for her until she gets back. I hadn't expected your arrival so soon, Mint. We may need to continue this discussion a bit later. I must say, though, what a coincidence. The director's childhood companion waltzing in to inspect the bridge he toiled so hard on. And we here at Sandrock do appreciate the good doctor's work, don't we? Mm -hmm. Actually, I wasn't finished talking about my robot, but never mind that. Speaking of inspection, Sleepyhead, did you bring your inspection equipment? Ah, I didn't. I knew it. Never change, Mint. Do you know what you need? Yeah, I need a magneto-inductive inspector to test the stress. All right, I've got it. Can you help? I'll draw up a diagram for Mint's missing equipment and send it to you. Please check your mailbox tomorrow and build it for us as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks. Well... If you're not ready for me, Minister, I could maybe use a rest. It's been over 10 minutes since my last nap. So, where is the local hotel here? Hotel? Nonsense. You'll be staying with me. I am certain you will find my research center far more hospitable than that old milk shack. Well, okay. Ah, well, let's not get in the way of these two peas in a pod. Looks like they have a lot of catching up to do. So long. Okay. Hey, Matilda. Hmm. I'm not sure how things worked in Highwind, but around here, our church works in tandem with the research center. We've got work together to survive, or we've got to work together to survive. Would you like gold? Or would you like a diamond? I think gold. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you don't know who Mint is, Mint is a romanceable NPC from Portia. And in a way, it is... There's a line she says, I guess, if you're dating him, that the builder from Portia and Mint are engaged. So I don't know if that's technically canon. I never married Mint in Portia. So to me, it's not canon, but there is a he. I mean, they do say it, so it's a little weird. Um, Let's go get uh, the high Ann. Uh -huh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I don't know if you know this newbie, but you've earned access to the second page of the commission board. <coughs> now you can take sort of all sorts of requests in town. And now go make me, I mean, make yourself some money. I really have to sneeze right now. Oh my goodness. Not bad. I want to go get commissions and then start them and get the horse. Hello. You're so cute. I have nothing. Out. Well, we'll give you this. Yeah. You get a decent boost with. Did I, did I go in here? No. Okay. You get a decent boost with the meerkat. Sometimes I can get the meerkat before a uh, Nemo. Arvio. Fine. Fine. We'll go start this. Oh, yeah. Gotta go to Fang. Have to go to Fang. Oh, oh. Hmm. That's how it happened, too. What I just did. That is how you get stuck in the tent. Which is unfortunate because most of the time, the only way the save you have to go back to is the beginning of the day. So that's unfortunate. 
Perfect. Uh, screws are going. We have this. We need to buy a horse today. Oh, we need to go get one more Sandicuda. Oh, we'll go do that really quick. Just wait. We can start it. It doesn't matter. It's just mainly my head is focusing on it. So might as well. Hello, bunny. Bunny. Was that me? Who did that? Like, how? Got him. Uh, I, uh, someone who I watch stream quite often is uh, Hypno, Hypnotized from the Hermitcraft server. And he always does this. Anytime he's playing Minecraft, mainly Hermit, but any Minecraft, and he sees a little bunny, he goes like, bunny, and then he kills it. And it's like, I, I'm so happy no one can kill those bunnies. Um, but it's every, every time it's like, bunny, and he just, boop. So sad. Just so sad. Uh, we need this, and then we're going to put this on here. I already have that. So pens is going, this is going, I think that's everything. Yep, okay. Um, let's get a horse. What else do I got today? Art Tom Ranch work. I'm like, um. Thank you. Like, I know there's supposed to be a bird just here. <sighs> Some of the lines in this, and sadly, this RVO mission here, it's not the end. There's still more. Oh, no horses. Oh. Weird to know your birthday, sir. Must be a rancher then, I reckon, I reckon, or, yep, I reckon those, the clouds are al were aligned much in the way that they were at today. Which reminds me of an amusing anecdote involving a pair of spoons I used to play on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I hate when I yeah. do that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no horse. The horses restock on Sunday or Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. So we will not have a horse until then. And sometimes you don't get a horse. It's actually, I wish they would change that. Boop. It worked, it worked. What do you we know? got work at extra. <laughs> Hello. The new builder. Yeah, I would say his hair is almost the length of Victor's. Do you have a brother that we don't know about? Hmm. No, he's a stepbrother. Or a half brother. It's technically, I think, a half brother. All right. Let's do it to it. Hi, Pen. The lines of this Arvio mission are actually funny. But it's just it's Arvio. Come one, come all. We're rousing the views of Sound Rock. How's the beauty of the desert flower make you weak at the knees? Don't worry, take home a photograph, show your friends and relatives the wonders that is the desert rose. Yeah, uh, let me get a, uh, yeah, one of those uh, desert rose ones? Certainly, sir. And while you're at it, why not take one of these as well? No, uh, j just that one will do. In fact, let me get five of them. Uh. Me too, me too. I saw them first. They're mine, I tell ya. Aha! There's no need to rush, everyone. So, what do you think, our beautiful Desert Rose? It deserves its reputation, no? <laughs> she most certainly does. Huh? She? I don't think a photograph has a gender, sir. Cut the malarkey, shopkeep. A dozen desert roses. Chop, chop. Uh, right away, sir. 
strangest thing is happening. Everyone is just obsessed with this photo in particular. What could it be? I don't get it. I think you I do. I just wish I knew more about photography. Well, in any case, can to buy a photo? Hey, sis. Want to buy a photo? Avio! What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? You're selling pictures of me? Huh? No! Oh, this one. Well, yes, you're in it, but no! See, when you, the line he says earlier, when I say, oh, you're selling a photo of your sister? And he goes, no, uh, mm, uh, no, uh. Like, he knew it, and it drives me crazy. I was just telling the builder, yeah, there's something about the composition of this photo that really resonates with people. It's just a happy coincidence you're featured in it. Hey, you're gonna be famous. There's nothing happy about this, nor is it any semblance of coincidence. Taurus have been pestering me constantly, asking me to sign this photo, calling me the Desert Rose. Explain that, Avio. Oh, the title of the photo is Desert Rose. That's my new name for Samuel. But that, you, they call you. Oh, oh no. Con, you creepy Taurus. Creepy brother. Don't play dumb with me. You honestly expect me to believe you had no idea. It's been days. I. It's really none of these because it's he did know, but I'll just say Aria really didn't know. But it's a lie. Even so, this was an extremely careless venture. You are kind to say so, but my sister is right. I've been a fool. Avio, you would do well to develop some foresight whenever concocting these schemes of yours. This is doubly true whenever your plans involve an unwitting accomplice. If you're ever not sure, uh, Light, just ask me. I will be returning to my shop. My only hope is that my path is not blocked by the rabid Taurus that you have wrought, brother. Goodbye. Wow, she's really mad. Even more so than that time I ruined her kiln trying to make a pizza in it. An art stand. The thought of those greasy Taurus smudging up those photos in their slimy grip Walking over my poor sister. I can't take it. I've got to get those pictures back. I'm with you. Let's go. Really? You'll help with this too. You really have a big heart. I'm literally doing this for your sister. All right. Let's split up. These guys couldn't have gone far. Just be on the lookout for anyone creepy looking. Or anyone you just saw buying a photo. Do whatever it takes to get those photos back. Uh, without breaking the law, I suppose. Well, I have. How many have you got so far? Mm -hmm. Eh, great. Um. Thanks. Commissions are done. Well, no, they're not. We are still waiting for. Um. Oh, they're all up here. Oh, uh, we're still waiting for pens. Pen. I need to remember because I haven't had to ask anyone out. Desert Rose? Photo? Nah, never heard of it. Double. Double. Dang, you're a great A simp for this girl, huh? Well, I won't say no to a cold hard cash, but you better be careful. Don't spend all your hard earned cash on a girl who doesn't even know who you are, partner. <laughs> I don't, I've never had to, I haven't had to ask anyone out in this game in a really long time, so I don't even know when I should buy something to you get You want my pen. Desert Rose photo? You're gonna have to fight me for it. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Have a nice day. Okay. I don't even know how friendly we are with him. Hey, I overheard your conversation with the shopkeeper guy and the Desert Rose. I was hoping you wouldn't notice me, but now that you're directly confronting me, <laughs> I can't say no. Here you go. Oh, I hit the button too early. Oh no, they're going. You want my Desert Rose photo? Hey, you're in luck. I was looking for a way to do a good deed today. Here you go. Now I'm off to Atara <laughs> to commit more tax fraud. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's probably one of my favorite lines. There's there's a few really good lines. I mean, there's a lot of good lines. They have really good writing in this game. But that is probably one of my more favorite lines. It's amazing how I got them all. <laughs> Nay. I can't be giving you my desert rose photo. She's mine. 
and I plan for it to comfort me on those lonely nights out at sea. However, were I to hear one good reason why I shouldn't keep it, I might reconsider. I might. Amir didn't consent to this. What was this beard? At last, these photos are being distributed without her knowing? Why, I... Yeah, go kick her brother's take butt. Take this photo from my hands, young desert dweller. I shan't be needing it no more. Mark these old sea dog's words. Any such copy of that there photograph out there, I'll be making sure they finds their way to the bottom of the briny deep. Arr. And you can tell that silver-tongued salesman I'll be waiting for him in Davy Jones' locker. Ah. Uh, did you go to the game center? You probably did. You got all the photos? Wow, that was quick. How'd you do it? I bought them all. Ah, darn. Of course, of course. Yeah, let me pay you back. What scoundrels. Not only were they creeping on my sister, but they were happy to jump at the chance to take advantage of us as well. Phew. It's finally over. But now, what am I to do with all these photos? Destroy them. Hmm. You may be right. The only way to be completely sure that no one will ever use these to creep on my sister again is to destroy them. Ah, but I paid 50 golds to make all these copies. Too damn bad. Tell you what, I'll think on it. In the meantime, why don't you take one as a memento for this whole ordeal? I believe I can count on you to enjoy this photo the way it was meant to be enjoyed. As landscape photography, thank you again for all your support through this difficult time. Hopefully, my next business opportunity will have less disastrous results. Catch you around. Okay. I do like that the mission in the end gives you points with Amira because she should be the person you get the points with. You know? Ah, uh, I need this. There's our sand rice. They also change the texture of the, the crops. They look, um, or I guess the dirt, it's not crops. They look, uh, it, the, te the top texture is better, but they also look a little plasticky, I guess is the best way to put it. And it's not, I've, I've seen worse textures, but they do look a little plastic. I think it's, uh, as a, the long, ooh, wow, these actually really need water. I am good at gardening. Um, I think the longer or the higher they are level wise, I do think affects how they, they I mean, they, they change how they look, but it, the more advanced one, that's what I'm trying to say. The more advanced ones, I think, tend to look a little more fake in a way. All right. How are we doing on this? Wow. Okay. An hour left. So two hours left. Holy. Oh, I, it, I did a, a, a twofer. Okay, we'll put this up. I don't know how he couldn't realize. You know why they were trying to, they wanted to buy Jensen's photo. That's what it is. Everyone wants Jensen. So I, that's why. Uh, we need to work on the stats for our house again. What am I here for? I am going to put metal away and I'm going to into this folder. And this is not a folder. Uh, we will put that up. These can get donated to the museum. This actually does not go in there at all. We'll put this up. It's kind of it. We will see how we are doing uh, stat-wise after I put these up. Bonk. Uh, you do not have any stats, but we'll just still put it up, because why not? And this, I believe you can put a photo in. That was so what I wanted to do. Oh my goodness. Um. Nope, you can't. Was it tab? Yeah. These sometimes are very difficult. Yeah, this is I don't this is not the one you can put something in, I don't think. Yeah. 
We need damage, defense, and luck. And look how cute he is. Um, I wanted this actually. Damage, elegant, elegant. We might buy another one of those. Uh, defense, another rug. We can buy one of those. And then luck. Sheer dumb luck. None of these would get... Oh, well, that would get us the closest. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, things that you put on your counters and stuff do not count towards it. What am I here for? A horse? We need to deliver this to Penn. And then I think we're just going to go to the mines to get... Well, we're going to go check how we're doing with other things. And then I think, oh, hello. did I give anything to you today, sir? You didn't even say hi. Yeah, I know I gave it to you recently. I'm sorry. Love you, Nemo. Hey, Pen. Hello. I've noticed a certain slack has been mm -hmm. giving you trouble on the builder charts from time to time. Would you like me to go and <clears throat> teach him a lesson? No? Well, offers on the table. Okay, Pen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, those are so cute. I don't think I've ever noticed those before. They're like, are they snails? I think they are. I've noticed these. I've never noticed those up there, though. In a way, they don't fit, but I also don't care. Because that is just so cute. Um, yeah, we're gonna go check our inventories and go from there. Uh, this is done. Well, we have this. Voila. Okay. Um, again, will it do it? Voila. Wow. Uh, that, and we got to this, and we have this. We're gonna go turn in, I think, this thing really quick. Uh, the sorting machine. I need to start... bronze plates. I really don't, but it's just, they're there. Like, I just want them done that way when we need to upgrade that, we can. Next, how am I doing on copper now? We're finally getting there, man. Uh, we're gonna go turn in this to Rocky. How are we doing on things and stuff? Where did my mushrooms? Oh, they're other than the food. It's fine. Um, metal. We can still use more of that. And uh, I think we're gonna go into the mines one more time. I I do think that's gonna be the play today. I mean, wood. That ain't a lot. We could we could use this too. I think we might do a twofer. Uh, we'll go take down half the, tree, the trees over here until we're right around like 200 or like two, probably 225-ish. And then we will go into the, do this mission for Rocky and just, just bang out the mines really quick and end the episode. Yeah, today would be Logan's birthday. It would be Logan's birthday. It's unfortunate. He's somewhere out there. That's who that he is. 
I may also hit some of the hardwood. Um, no, I am hitting hardwood. Uh, the hard stones. And I will double check to make sure there's nothing other than this rock sorter that I need to do. I think we're good, but I just want to make sure. Mainly because today was a very uh, broken up day. So it feels a little discombobulated. Or discombobulating, I guess it would be. Just because it's been a very broken up day. Okay, go this way. Thank okay, we're going to go around. I think that was so difficult. <laughs> we're going around. Oh, what's the chicken? Uh, you can stay here, horse. Does it say in here when my rental is done? Oh, yeah, that we're working on that. Uh, after we're done with the pro, well, we'll do the grinder, then the processor. We'll do this finally. Um, okay. And this we're working towards. This we're turning in. That will be tomorrow. Yay. Wow, look at this thing. It's running like a train. I gotta stop underestimating you, builder. This should make all of our jobs easier. I wish we'd have thought to get one earlier. Let's call this the Bamna machine, in remembrance of our old friend. We can change it if she comes back. So, you guys really believe we can make this work? You ain't gonna leave. No way. We're with you, boss. I don't have the motivation or <laughs> ambition to seek betterment for myself. <laughs> oh, you guys, bring it in. <laughs> You two don't think you're getting away. <laughs> oh, Rocky the Softy. Thanks again, Builder. I think this machine you built for us has inspired some hope. Maybe in me more than anyone. I'm gonna try to do something nice for you too, alright? You keep an eye on your mailbox. Ooh. He's our buddy. Uh the only thing he gives you is the contract. There is nothing else. And you have to pay for it. So he really isn't helping you that much. It is what it is. <clears throat> you, you would think that when he says, like, I'll give you something nice or whatever he said, you'd think that it actually would be a gift. But no. I don't really need the copper per se. But I do want this because it's just, this is too many relics to not go for. Oh, it's this one. Okay. We will soon need to go. Uh... Okay. Um, we will soon have to go to the museum and see how we're doing relic wise. I'm trying to see if I can do this without using my spreadsheet. Um, I don't like it. I like having my spreadsheet, but I'm trying not to use it. And you can, that was the wrong button. You can go to here and then items and then relics. And it does tell you what pieces you have. So we can build two of these right now. We can build a camera. We can build one of those. So, I mean, it does tell you. It's just, I like this very visual things and it basically in front of my face. And that's why the spreadsheet comes in handy. It's not even really a, sp well, it is a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet that I just tick things off of. It's like a mini to-do list. Oh, that's probably the next room, ain't it? What are you? 
I will get these because someone who is coming to town soon likes these. And I nope. I say we have to be so close right now. Oh, you just got one of those. We don't need another one. Um, we'll go this way. We'll actually hit this. This should be copper. Okay, we're done. We're gonna, yeah, I can't, I can't hit the wrong button. Uh, we're going to leave. We are probably just going to end the episode because it's been a long episode. We are reaching the point in the story where it's like there's just so many cutscenes. It's really when you get to the buddy, then we'll associate them buddy. It's really the buddy that it just all of a sudden is just like wow, so much all at once. Um. I'm gonna check really quick. What am I looking for this? Oh, so we can build this now. Ah, I think we're just gonna do it. Um. Is that the way I like it? Yeah. We're going to move it. I think I put it in inventory. Yeah. It's tight. We definitely need the one more expansion. That will be really helpful. <laughs> uh, we're going to put this here. These are going to be hidden now. They just need to go bye-bye. Uh, we'll keep a few, actually, hold on. Uh, this is gonna move over here. Uh, we're just gonna go like this. Mainly because I want to see they said that it was a fast retrieval now I wouldn't call that a fast retrieval just saying <clears throat> I think I want this here I think I want that there. And then I think um, for now, these are going to go. I think we're going to keep these where they're at. This is going here. This is going to go along the fence. And then I need my bed. This is gonna go there. This is gonna this is gonna go here. Um these are gonna go in a line. And then and a boop and a boop. And they're the wrong way. I hit the wrong button. Oh, sometimes you're so ha happy that that undo button is there. Ah, uh, there we go. I have that, I have that, I have those. I think that's everything. These I'm not too sure I'm going to like here. We'll see how I do. Um, we're going to move one of these over here. 
And then we're going to move one of these over here. And then this just going in there. That way I like having an, a sh the train tracks disappear. Interesting. Um, I like having an access here so I can just hop over the fence and I like one here and then I like one over there. There we are. It's different. It's a thing. We will put some mushrooms in here. Hopefully it did not eat all my drugs. If it did, it's fine. I... That's really the problem when you do something like what I just did, is that it can eat your drugs sometimes. I think they fixed that. Anything else? Anything else? No, I mean, I can make some steel. Whoops. I think that's good. We'll just leave that. And yeah, there we are. Yeah, these I'm not so sure. We may actually just rotate these out. Um, it's having issues placing it. It wants to like shove it over. It's like the second time or third time. You think it's done that? Yeah, well, these machines we don't use as often, so we'll just stick them over here. And I'm going to be one space short, aren't I? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I would have been fine, I think. No, maybe not. There we are. Is it the greatest? No. But does it work? Yes. We will put some of these in here. I really probably shouldn't because he's just a rental horse, but it's fine. We need to probably tomorrow go get more mushrooms if I'm going to get a horse soon. Uh, I am not going to go outside, I don't think. I think it's going to teleport me. But anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sandrock. Next episode, we will probably be installing the bridge trusses. And then we will also have the Day of Memories. And we will have to build the machine thing for Mint. So I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself. And bye for now.